Welcome, welcome. We are back with another episode of Cooking Time with Andre. Welcome everybody and welcome to my channel. Guys, I'm taking you way back. The reason why I tell you guys I'm taking you guys way back, I know you guys are excited and guess what? I'm excited to have you guys on board again and I always try my best to bring videos and lots more excitement to my channel and today I will be making rice and tin mackerel Jamaican style so lots of people forget about this dish but today I'm bringing it back hit the subscribe button if you're new here I have the rice over here and I have the grace tin mackerel and I have tomatoes okay remember you can't make rice and mackerel without tomato and I have add peppers. You remember you can't lift it in half of it in the kind of the scratch from the kick. And then I have some scallion, onion, you know, the good precious thyme. Just like how I'm cooking thyme with Andre, guess what? I cook with the thyme too. With, with, let's just start by cutting up the onion. Now I cut my onion in half. I'm just gonna chop this up. And that's why your, your onion to look nice and presentable. Followed by my scallion. Then I'm going to cut up my scotch bunny pepper. This is the time where you don't touch your face. Then I'm gonna add some of the thyme into the mix. I like to cut up my thyme. Okay, don't want to worry about stick stick does too much. So I cut up some thyme. And then I'm gonna cut up my tomato just to add it in the mix. First, I'm just going to take that part off. Then the stem part of the tomato, you notice, I save the stem on one side. You want to get rid of that. So you wanna get your tomato just nice in some nice chunk. Remember, we're making rice and tin mackerel. See, just like that. And the rest of time that I have into my bowl right here, I'm gonna add it to the rice when I'm cooking the rice. And then I'm gonna add some scallion into the rice as well. So now I have finished getting my onion and my Scallion and my thyme and my pepper. I finish prep get them prepped. Now I'm gonna get my rice ready and I have a pound and a half of rice. I'm using basmati rice for my rice and mackerel So guys, I'm gonna move over to the sink and I'm gonna get my rice washed. I'm just gonna add water to my rice and remember with basmatic rice, you don't have to think about, you have like, you know those brown rice pad, you don't have any rice pad inside here, but you always want to check your rice like this. 
No, I'm gonna add water. And you always want to drain the first water off the rice. With basmati rice, you only need to wash it like two times. Now I'm going to add more water to cook the rice, so I'm going to add enough water inside here. And remember, I always show you guys the trick to cook the perfect rice. See, that's the right amount of water, just half an inch of water over the rice. Then you know that you're gonna have the perfect shelly rice when you're finished. Now it's time to add the rice onto my stove. And I'm gonna turn my stove on. I'm gonna just leave it at high. Then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of sea salt. And then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of butter. And then I'm gonna add thyme and scallion into the rice. And then I'm gonna place my cover on. And I'm using the famous Jamaican Dutch pan for this. Now I have my frying pan onto the stove as well. Now I'm just gonna turn on the frying pan. And this is what I'm gonna be frying up my mackerel. So now I'm just gonna wait until my pot is hot. Now I'm gonna add some vegetable oil. And I just put my vegetable oil in this bottle so it's easier to handle. You don't want too much oil in your pot, so I'm gonna show you guys. You just want enough oil in your pot, maybe around four tablespoons of oil. Now I'm just gonna add my onion. You just want to get it nice and colorful. I like to keep a bowl close to the stove where I can put my, my spatula in. Now I'm going to add some seasoning. So I'm going to start out with some Maggi all-purpose seasoning and you just want to use a teaspoon follow up by some fish seasoning then a little onion powder teaspoon as well and I have my stove on low so I'm just gonna stir it in Then I'm gonna place my cover on. Now it's time to add the mackerel, and this mackerel I have on the pull easy release tab. But you know, sometimes you get the mackerel where you have to use your cutter and cut open. So I'm gonna remove the cover. Then I'm gonna open my tin mackerel. Then I'm just gonna shake it into the pot. And 
this is the Grace Jack Mackerel. Then I'm going to place my cover on. And while we are here, we're going to check on the rice. And let me take guys see what's going on. I'm just coming inside to just do a few checks. I'm just going to stir it around. Then I'm gonna turn on my stove on the rice. So you start on high and you wanna just get the stove low to make your, your rice nicely steam down. Now I'm gonna check on my mackerel. I'm just gonna do a stir around and show you guys everything is looking good. So we're just gonna let our, our mackerel on low and let it cook down as well. I like to balance my my pot and my stove. I like to have it right. Like, this is rice and mackerel, Jamaican style. I'm taking you guys back. It doesn't take long to cook rice, and I, I'm showing you guys the way I do it, and it's always worked for me. And I know it can work for you the same way if you are following along. Now I'm just going to open the rice pot to let you guys see what's going on and check it out guys. See the rice is steaming down nice. And I'm going to do the same thing so you guys can check out the macro and see all that good sauce and the macro is cooking down into. Lots of people are going to be craving rice and mackerel after they watch this video. So now I'm going to check on the rice. And see it when you can move the rice around just like that that's I mean your rice is very shelly so I'm just gonna make the rice cook down for another five minutes same as the mackerel and then I'm gonna show you guys and now I'm gonna check on the rice guys our rice is finished cooking and check it out guys now I'm gonna switch my stove off and now I'm gonna check on the macro The mackerel is finished cooking now. So now I'm gonna switch the stove off as well. I'm gonna make 
a plate and I'm going to show you guys the finished product. And I have the mackerel and rice on a plate and guys check it out and this is rice and mackerel Jamaican style look at the goodness and guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and thanks for watching